keys of the kingdom, the key of power. Power is the capacity of an individual or a group of individuals to influence the actions, beliefs, or conduct of others. The term authority is often used for legitimate power. The origin of all power is God. God is all-powerful. Power can be good and power can be evil. The psalmist speaking says, God has spoken once, twice have I heard that power belongs to God. Power belongs to God. And Jesus Christ teaching us to pray says, For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Power doesn't belong to any being apart from God. In the beginning, God gave man the power of dominion. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Man is giving power over the sea and everything that is in the sea. Man is giving power over the air. So anything that happens over the air is under man's control. Man is giving power over the land to control whatever that go on on this earth. Man is equipped by God to be able to influence this earth. So you are not powerless. God repeated it twice in the beginning. He said, God has blessed you with power to dominate the earth. And God blessed them and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that move upon the earth. Now when man sinned in the garden of Eden, he relinquished his power to the devil. Today the devil tempts people with the corrupted power he has. People are worshipping the devil for counterfeit power instead of worshipping the all-powerful God. In the temptation of Jesus, the devil took him up on a exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, All these things will I give you if you will fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Go away, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God and serve him only. You shall worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Don't yield yourself to any power apart from the power of God. This this power that Adam gave to the devil, Jesus has taken it from him. If you are a child of God, you have power over the devil. The devil is not your problem. Believe in the power of God. Jesus came to his disciples and said, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Matthew 28 verse 18. All power in heaven and on earth belongs to Jesus. And this power has been given to those who believe in him. There are different kinds of power that has been given to us as believers. Number one, the power to be wealthy. God never intended for his children to be broke or to be poor. In fact, Jesus came to preach the good news to the poor. God speaking says, the silver is mine and the gold is mine. Save the Lord of hosts. Haggai 2 verse 8. God wants you to have all the gold and the silver that belongs to him. 
don't be broke with a God who owns everything on this earth. Solomon was so blessed by God and he was exceedingly rich. Isaac sowed and reaped a hundredfold and was exceedingly wealthy to the extent the Philistines envied him. Hear what God is saying to you today. He said, But you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he that gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swore unto your fathers as it is this day. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. God has given you the power to be worldly so that he can establish his covenant. Don't be afraid. Go out there and be exceedingly rich. You will not backslide. You will still be in faith and will serve God better. Number two, power to turn upon serpents and scorpions and over every power of the enemy without getting hurt. God's power preserves us from harm. He says he disappoints the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. The power of God disappoints the devices of the evil one. So chill, the devil cannot harm you. Number three, power to witness for Jesus. The power of the gospel is the power of God unto salvation for everyone who believes. Jesus said, but you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Acts 1 verse 8. God has given you power to take the gospel to the uttermost parts of the earth. And the Apostle Paul speaking said, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit and power. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 4. Number 4. Power to cast out unclean spirits. Power to heal all manner of sicknesses. Power to heal all manner of diseases. In Matthew 10 verse 1, it says, And when he had called his twelve disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of diseases. If you are a disciple of Jesus, if you believe in Jesus, if you believe in the power of of the name of Jesus, it is impossible for any devil to afflict you. These signs follow them who believe. He said, In my name they shall cast out devil. Command that sickness or disease in the name of Jesus and have no doubt in your heart and that sickness will go. Stop looking for special people or special prayer. Exercise the faith God has given you and you will have results. As you exercise the power of the kingdom, I see you having dominion in the name of Jesus Christ. You have the ability to do things that you could not do by your own power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.